when I deal with uh, HR training and when I deal with the boots on the ground, the people yeah. leaving training from HR, I, I, I want to make sure people understand that there are not just legally federal definitions and state by state definitions, but there's also conduct that may be prohibited by your employer. You yeah. can lose your job for inappropriate behavior that falls short of the standards we're going to talk about today. And you can it severely negatively impact people um, by behavior that falls short of the standards that we're going to talk about here today. Um, but so, so with those caveats aside, exclusively talking about the legal definitions, anywhere in the United States, you can sue uh, the Equal Employment Opportunity Committee. You, yeah. you can obtain a right to sue letter uh, through the EEOC. And the definition in front of you applying to uh, any company with 15 or more employees um, this is re this is a remedy that's available to people um, under Title VII, regardless where they live. Yeah. In most progressive states, say uh, California, Massachusetts, New York, Washington, yeah. you will have more employee favorable, more protective statutory framework where it can be employers of any size, and the definition yeah. can change. So where you are, particularly from the West Coast, really the EEOC doesn't mean much because there's a more employee favorable, a more restricted framework. So you need to make sure that you are, you know, reading from the right script when, uh, when, when helping, you know, your boss and managing up as to whether certain behavior constitutes a violation of the law.